tropics tropical deciduous forests deciduous means something that eventually falls off if all leaves of a tree fall off in a certain season that tree is said to be a deciduous tree forests in which most of the trees are like this are called deciduous forests when do the leaves fall off they fall off in the dry season how does that help a lot of water leaves the plants through the leaves this is called transpiration when the leaves fall off this water loss stops plants save their water since the leaves fall off in a season sunlight can reach the ground so there is a lot of plant growth on the forest floor in such forests in fact the forest floor in such forests has quite a thick growth these forests are still in the warm tropical regions but as the seasons are different different trees grow here you have already seen how the structure of the forest is also different from the evergreen forests the animals birds and insects here are different too hardwood trees like teak sal neem and shisham grow here there is a huge variety of monkeys deer and large cats there are many parrots rodents and ground dwelling birds too these are the places where you find these forests around the world in india they are in the central regions and on the slopes of the eastern and western ghats think and discuss why is there a thick growth of plants on the forest floor in tropical deciduous forests all trees shed their leaves then why do we call some trees evergreen and some trees deciduous tropics tropical grasslands some places on earth have huge areas that are mostly covered with tall grass these areas near the equator that are covered such are called tropical grasslands we find these grasslands close to the equator in both hemispheres as you can see a large area of africa is covered with this kind of grass there it's called the savanna such areas are called savanna grasslands these areas have very tall grass the grass is 3 to 4 meters tall that is 10 to 14 feet there are some trees too but the trees are not close together they get a good amount of rainfall but it's not spread year round it just falls in one season sometimes the entire rainfall can happen in just a few weeks it's that uneven you can find acacia and baobab trees and such other trees in these regions elephant grass grows to be almost 10 feet tall It is almost 1 inch thick near the base. The stem is rough and hairy. Do you know these creatures? Giraffe, hyena. Do you know these creatures? Lion, antelope. Do you know these creatures? Cheetah, ostrich. Do you know these creatures? weaver mouse bird there are many animals and birds that live in these regions too which ones can you identify elephant 
zebra. The grasslands receive rain in just one season. So it's quite dry for the rest of the year. What do animals and birds do then? They migrate. They may migrate to another part of the grassland where there is water or to another biome until the rains come again. Did you know the baobab trees store water in their large trunks? Elephants can tear open the trunk of a baobab tree and suck water from it. Some small animals just go to sleep in the drought and wake up when it rains. When it's dry, there are fires in the grasslands. Most of the animals there can run fast to save themselves from the fire. Some small animals that cannot run away dig beneath the soil and remain there till the flames pass them. In this way, many animals have found out ways of living with these fires. Think and discuss. Why are the tropical grasslands also called the savannas? How do small animals that cannot run fast save themselves from forest fires? Tropics Hot deserts. Hot deserts are large barren areas where there is hardly any rainfall. It's so hot and dry that hardly any plants can grow. The plants that do survive have special ways of adjusting to this climate. The animals that live there are mostly active at night. Hot deserts are found in almost all the continents around the world. The largest desert is in Africa and is called the Sahara Desert. The Sahara Desert covers about 11 countries. Even in a satellite image, you can see the Sahara Desert area clearly. Some parts of the desert are covered with sand dunes. Most of the Sahara is a rocky plateau. The sand on that is already eroded. As you can see, the Sahara lies under the subtropical high pressure belt. Because of the position of the desert and the way the air flows in that area, the atmosphere becomes very dry. Cloud formation also becomes very difficult and so there is hardly any rain. The temperature is usually above 40 degrees Celsius for most of the year. The sand temperature can easily go as high as 40 degrees Celsius. You can find plants, varieties of acacia and palms here. Most shrubs and grasses grow low so that they don't have to face the strong winds. They mostly store water in their thick stems and the leaves are like needles. You can find many types of foxes here, like the fennec fox, pale fox and rupert's fox. The adax is a large white antelope that can live for a year without drinking water. The Dorcas gazelle can live for a long time without drinking water too. There are reptiles like monitor lizards and sand vipers too. You can find birds like the African silverbill and the black-faced firefinch. You can find the deathstalker scorpion which has a dangerous poison. People have domesticated the dromedary camels and use them a lot. People have even domesticated goats and sheep in the hot deserts. People wear heavy robes to protect themselves from the heat and winds. They mostly make animal products from leather and hair to sell. Places where water is available are called oases. The human settlements are mostly in such regions. 
Since oil and minerals have been discovered in the deserts, things are changing in these regions too. You can now see glass buildings, super highways and trucks here. The locals have started working in the mines or as guides to tourists. Think and discuss. Name any five countries that the Sahara Desert spans. What kind of clothes do people in the hot desert wear? What is an oasis?